Hello JFS, I'm Mr. Joseph from the Jewish Studies Department and today I'm going to be sharing with you five things I absolutely love about Jerusalem. Uh, in honor of Yom Yerushalayim, the holiday that comes up in Israel um, this Thursday. So before we get there, let's learn a little bit about Yom Yerushalayim itself. Uh, Yom Yerushalayim is really a holiday that celebrates the first time that the Jews had control over the Western Wall, the Kotel as we know it, um, for the first time in, in almost 2,000 years. Um, the Kotel is a very holy place, it's perhaps one of the holiest places, definitely the holiest place that we have modern day. Um, the location itself um, used to have the temple there before it was destroyed when the Jews were exiled in 70 AD. In the Six Day War, as you can see the image over there of um, the soldiers that, that reclaimed, um, that, that, that fought actually a very, very painful battle but ended up in uh, claiming the western half, the eastern half of Jerusalem that included the Kotel. And we celebrate the fact that we can return there, Jews can freely go there, pray there, and, and we have control of that location um, once again. And it's a very special place for us, so it's uh, really a worthwhile celebration. Um, so with that uh, in place, let's uh, talk about one of um, five of my favorite things about Jerusalem. I lived there for four years, and um, I've been there quite often and the first place is Machane Yehuda. Um, it's a very colourful, vibrant, diverse uh, place that I always love going to and I always see people that I haven't seen for years whenever I'm there. Uh, if you go there on a Friday afternoon it's like proper packed and really busy, um, loads of different things to eat there and you know just a general all round buzzing, vibing place that I just love visiting. So that's number five on my list. Um, this list could have been like really, really long. I did live there for quite a long time and there's lots of things I missed out for the sake of time, but that's number five. Number four, Jerusalem Stone. A very interesting thing. Um, when the British were in control of, the, of, of Israel, um, you know, a general who was in, in, in charge of, um, of Jerusalem um, made it so that you can only build buildings in the city of Jerusalem out of Jerusalem stone. So the city has a very, very unique um, unique view uh, when you look at it from any any um, viewpoint like the Tayele, if you've been on that or you've been there, um, all of the buildings are made out of the same stone and therefore all of the buildings in the city um, have the same color. And uh, you know, it's not, for me, it's not boring. I just, I find it one of the most unique and wonderful things about the city of Jerusalem. That, and also the stone itself comes from the area. So it's a very, you know, it's got very strong identity in, in being, you know, Jerusalem. It's, the buildings itself are made out of Jerusalem stone. So um, that's one of my favorite things about Jerusalem. Uh, number three, I could not resist putting this on here, <laughs> to be honest with you. I uh, didn't keep kosher when I was younger, and I used to love chicken nuggets. I used to have it with actually sweet curry sauce, and sweet and sour sauce, and barbecue sauce. And when I when I became more religious, when I was like in my, my, my 20s, um, I had to stop eating this stuff. And and I, um, I, did, I went without McDonald's for many years until I went to Israel, and I discovered kosher McDonald's, and, and it was just amazing. Um, I think if you know me well enough, you know this is one of my favorite foods, and definitely has to be on the list for me. Uh, number two, food related again, should come as no surprise for those of you who know me, dinner at the Mimilla Rooftop Hotel. And it's not just about the food, really, this is about the viewpoint that you have when you're eating. It's an open rooftop hotel, so it's like you get this breeze. If you go there around the evening time, you can overlook the old city with the lights on it, and it just, it just looks amazing. It's such a special, special place to go if you've got a celebration or if you're meeting up with someone special. Um, I always love going there. Uh, and having a meal there, it's like my special treat. Uh, um, I usually get once a year, but unfortunately uh, this year, um, I haven't been able to go to Israel yet. Um, number one on the list, although this could have been number one, um, I don't think God would have forgiven me, but number one on the list is the Kotel. It's the reason why we have any relationship with Jerusalem. It's the reason why it's, an, it's a holiday that we celebrate the fact that we have this location again. Um, this is a place where Jews, whether you're religious or secular, always experience something. I, you know, pray there. When I when I take groups out on Atoy, um, most of the people there, most of the students there, they just can't get enough of the place. And and, and some of these students, they're not even, you know. Um, wouldn't have even thought that they would they would want to pray there but when you get there you just have this experience there and I've seen it so many times it's such a special place uh, for me personally I remember once um, you know I was when I was dating my wife um, you know things were a bit rocky at a particular point and she 
uh, she wanted to take a break and it was that summer that I was going to go traveling to Scotland actually and I decided you know what I'm just going to go to Israel have an opportunity to pray at the Kotel and um, I remember having a very emotional day I ended up you know spending a lot of time there and uh, you know um, and I just think this is like this is really the, the reason why us as Jews um, have um, you know have an affinity to the land of Israel have an affinity to the city of Jerusalem and it's the reason we have Yom, Yom Yerushalayim it's, the reason, it's what we're really celebrating is the fact that we as Jews can go there and freely visit this place and pray there so with that I wish you all a um, happy Yom Yerushalayim please God uh, once this is all over we'll be able to visit Israel again and go and pray there and uh, please God in, in the future we'll, uh, Mashiach will come and we'll all be living there have a good day